Hey, hon, marital medicine. I always start reviewing it and then I drop off, but I sort of kind of follow along. Um, I try, it's just that I have other important shows that I need to watch that really is to, more towards my niche with my single sisters that I want to help. So I saw this comment on in a couple of Facebook groups. Vibe K, I'm giving her credit for it. We're going to read it and talk about it. I don't talk enough about how men should choose wives. I'm trying to work on a book on that, but this is an excellent uh, post to talk about this because the same way women need to choose husbands wisely is the same way husband needs to choose their, their wives wisely because the same way, ladies, a husband is uh, will determine the rest of your life, it's the same thing with a wife for a man. Uh, that she it will determine the rest of your life. So thank you for your love and support. Be sure to watch that video on Jason and Liz. I did this morning. Check that out. Cousins, I want to thank you for getting the delusionals in the comment section. Sherry, thank you, girl. I tell you, people just be coming in the comments being delusional, okay? But I thank you, uh, uh, Sherry. I'm giving a shout out, Sherry. If you read this, Sherry DA 2018, email me for a free book. <laughs> This person, Bobby, she said, I think it's wrong for you to make such a comment on Jason and Liz when you know nothing about them. Sherry D.A. says, folks who do not want to be opinioned on should keep their answers off television. If you show up on TV or place yourself in public exposure, expect to be talked about this in Rocky Symes. Uh, girl. So, uh, Bobby, are you complaining about the good things I say about them too? I heard you say nothing about that. Huh? I totally agree, Sherry. Thank you. So, cousins, let me tell you, when you see the delusionality in my comments, I just want, because those of you, especially being with me a while, you know my content, you know my commentary, please get the delusionals. Okay. I need to make sure. Please get the delusionals in the comment section. Okay, then I want to check out my video I dropped earlier this afternoon about Auntie Monique. She's at it again with the girl showing up at the airport in her drawers and her bra. Okay, drawers and her bra. And of course, you know, the kin folks is making excuses. Check that video out. So, oh, and I'm telling you in my community tab, if you want to win a free book, I have two specials going on in my community tab. If you answer the question, go to my blog, fill out the contact form. I will enter your name to win a free book. Also, my Red Bubble. I have a Red Bubble shop. I have a free books going on over there right now. Uh, if you buy a Red Bubble product that is twenty dollars or more, I will send you two books. Okay, two ten year a girlfriend books. And please remember, I need your uh, reviews on Amazon. Also, I still need your love and your support on Amazon. Pick these books up. I'm almost at my monthly goal. So if you haven't supported me yet this month, please be sure to do so. And of course, 23 times guys, you might meet. Also, what I'm asking for those of you who've been with me for a minute, you know how hard I work. Every month, I want you to put a couple of dollars aside, $20, $25, and say, this is for Janice. I'm going to buy one of her books, give it to somebody, or I'm going to buy one of her shirts or something. I have lots of stuff on Redbubble. I love Redbubble. I am hooked to it, okay, because it has so many products, but my Teespring is still there, but this special is on Redbubble. Okay, so apparently the whole drama with Scott and uh, Contessa, uh, he was being inappropriate, texting and getting pictures from um, other women and so on and so forth. He doesn't want to go to counsel. And ladies and gentlemen, when you are dating, that is a question you need to ask. We believe in continual counsel. It, it, it's foolery to think that you go to the doctor once a year to get your physical. You go to, you're supposed to, let me, you're supposed to go to the doctor once a year to get your physical. You're supposed to go to the dentist twice a year to get checkup. Ladies, that's 40 and over, you know, we need to go get our mammograms. And uh, ladies, as of 18 or whatever age, your doctor say, you know, we need to go get our pap smears. Let's just go ahead and say it. Brothers, you, know, you should know, especially men of color, once you get to a certain age, you need to go get your, your prostate check. 
um some one of my one of my one of my brothers he has some kind of cancer is very rampant in his family what is it it's not kid it's liver something is some but it's a man you know man issue cancer and he has to go to the doctor is it a prostate he has to go to the doctor twice a year every six months he has to go for the doctor to check his prostate and he said, man, I just be sitting there talking to him for about two hours. And then he's like, okay, brother, come over. You know what we got? <laughs> okay. So if you have to do all these things and you go to church every Sunday, how do you just get married and leave your marriage? Don't you think you need some help on your marriage? And so Scott Dozo didn't want to go to the counseling session. Uh, so this young lady, I'm giving her credit. She made a valuable point. Vab K, I think this is on Twitter. They are sharing it on the Facebook group. She said they did the same to Dr. G as they are with Scott. All Dr. G wanted was a baby and couldn't get that after four seasons. Well, Dr. G should have married a woman who wanted to have a baby. You need to set a date. We need to have a baby in a year. In one year, we need to get pregnant. I think every marriage should give a marriage one year to get used to each other. You know, those of us that's not shacking up and fornificating and carrying on. Give it a year. Okay. And you should have put a date on it. But also Dr. G was doing some crazy stuff too. So, you know, the reason why you give it a year, ladies, is to try to figure out, is he crazy? Because that's what I wanted to do with my but you know, I want him to give him a year to see is he crazy? You know what I mean? Because you know, it's true. You really don't know somebody. Oh, my landscape is here. You really don't know somebody until you um live with it. Hold on, let me um close my window. Yes, honey, our landscaper come every every Monday. My husband has a landscaper come. And so, the, but that's an excuse people use for shacking up. The Bible is still right. I don't care what you say. The Bible is still right. Don't shack up, okay? And uh, so, you know, you give the person time and baby quad figured out Dr. G was crazy. And so, you know, she didn't want no baby. Now, if you figure out the man is crazy, you're, then you thought he was, then, uh, you know, I'm with quad on this, Okay. And so now Scott wants a, she says, Scott wants a traditional wife. Contessa doesn't want to be. So the problem is, brothers, is you are choosing women who don't want to be what you want. It's the same thing as women choosing men who are not who they want. Okay. So Scott wanted to be, wanted a traditional wife. He should have chosen a traditional wife. You choose Dr. Contessa, who is a doctor who want to run the world and rule the world and leave her kids to go get a degree and all of this stuff. I mean, I just don't understand what Scott thought he was expecting. And then, you know, Contessa is, uh, uh, what's the word? What's the right word, Lord? Because, you know, these days, you, you know, you, the, mm, I don't know what the word is, but Contessa is, um, uh, curious is that the word you know uh you know she's out there okay i don't know if that's the word help me y'all help me with the words because i just can't keep up it's like every day is i just can't so you help me and so my thing is scott men like scott usually prefer um traditional wife traditional my man like my husband you know he knew when he married me i'm one of those wives that i love being a traditional wife i love him taking care of me and the kids i take care of the home and the kids you know uh i'm here i'm home after after work i'm running home to get my babies after i get off work you know i pick my babies up and i come home and i'm here being mommy and doing homework and making me and just having a good time with them. And when he travels, he know he don't have to worry about nothing. Mommy's, I'm here with the kids and um, ain't nobody coming in here. I don't even, okay, I'll be over there in a minute. Um, he knows that about me. And so that's what he wanted. That's what he got. Do, though with my writing, with my gifts, because God has given us all gifts, my gifts and talents are for me to use at home with my writing and stuff. 
And so he gives me time. You know, Saturday he took the kids out, just about had all day. I slept all day. Okay, thank you. Um, you know, my dad told him when I got married, he said, listen, Janice has a gift and a calling on her life and you need to give her time. And so my husband to this day is my biggest supporter. This is my father threatening him at the wedding. Okay. And so to this day, my husband is my biggest supporter. He will push me and say, Hey, you need to write, or do you need me to help you with anything? This is up. And, but I am still very traditional and I make sure home is taking care of and so on. Well, if that's what Scott wanted, then that's what he chose him. But that's not what he chose. He chose a woman who wanted to run the world, rule the world, and want her to be a traditional wife. Here it says that Contessa doesn't want to be. Well, she also, Contessa, should not have married him, Contessa. You knew he wanted a traditional wife, and you know you could not be a traditional wife. You should not have married him. And so, ladies, when you are choosing your husband, why husbands, when you are choosing your hus your wives, you need to make sure. If she wants to be the woman that's running the world and rule the world, and that's not what you want, you want a traditional wife, you need to drop her and go find a traditional wife and your life will flow so easy. And so now they're fighting back and forth about her being the stay at home wife and, and cooking and taking care of the kids and staying home and why you need to get another degree and how could you leave the kids for 18 months ago? No, 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 Scott. That's what you, you knew who Contessa was. They're both wrong. They both should not have chosen each other. And so now she's filing for separation and it's another black marriage failing. Another marriage failing, another home being broken up. Okay, this is what can happen when you choose wrong. Granted, lots of marriages fail for various reasons. But to me, to me, outside of abuse, abandonment, and adultery, I just feel like everything else can be worked out. I'm not, you abuse me, I'm out. You abandon me, I'm out. You cheat on me, I'm out. Sister Janice can't deal with it. I'm sorry, that's Sister Janice. No, if you can work it out, you go ahead, okay? I just, for Janice, I just can't. Once you betray me, uh -uh. we're done. Okay. But outside of everything, communication and all that, I think that could be worked out. Okay. I don't have any space here. Just give me one second. I'm almost done. Okay. Contessa and Scott, their issue, Scott needs to bring his grown behind man self to the counseling and come up with a plan. Okay. Then they're going to start working together. Forget it. The marriage is going to break up. Never work with your mate. Except they work every other day. If she worked Monday, he worked Tuesday, and so on and so forth. So they need to sit down, go to counseling, and work the marriage out. They need to find a middle ground. They need to get them a nanny and a maid. Mom, you tend to go out. Okay. And then it says, she says, ultimately, in both marriages, both parties want it different. Yes, you want it different. So you don't want to choose somebody who wants something different. You want to choose somebody who wants the same. Scott should have found him a nice traditional girl who wants to be married and stay home and take their kids and cook his meal when he come home. That's what he want. That's what you should have married, Scott. Contessa, you want to run the world and rule the world. Either you need to find a husband that is okay with you running all over the place or you should have stayed single but they're both wrong. They both chose wrong. And so now it's, it's, it's going to be another statistic, but I pray to God for the sake of the children that they try to work it out. We don't need any more black kids in single parents home. We don't need, we don't need more black kids not living in home with a mother and a father. So I pray to God, they work it out. Scott and Contessa, if y'all is watching, please work it out. Y'all can work it out. It can be worked out. And was he cheating, actually cheating, cheating, or was he just looking at the bitches? To me, you know, you're looking at the bitches. That's a no-no, too. But they can work it out. Let me know what y'all think. Do you guys understand how it's important to choose? This is an example of 
how it is important to choose correctly. Nobody's perfect. You're not going to get no 100%. If you get 100%, it's the devil. It's not God, okay? Because I love Jesus, and a lot of stuff in the Bible, I'm like looking at him like, what you say now, what now? A lot of that took me some time to come around and say, okay, Jesus, okay, that's what you say. That's what I'm going to do. All right, I love you. Remember my special red bubble. You buy something for at least $20, you will get two free books. Go over to Amazon, pick up my new my new books, 10 Years a Girlfriend. And of course, uh, these books are also good. I have to run. I love you. Bye. Remember my t-shirts too. Mwah, mwah. Bye. Oh, let me show you this one. Did you guys see this one? Who know what that one is about? Mm, 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 mm. Who know what that one is about? Who know what that one is about? You know what I'm up to? Tell them to put a little baby bottle on here. I'm going to email her. All right. Love you. Bye.